I have a confession to make. I have purchased over four full closets of homeschool curriculum. I have seven plus different language arts curriculum in my closet. I own all of the teaching textbook math books and their CDs for every math subject from math three all the way up to calculus. I have over 50 U.S. history reference books, and this does not include another 50 of the literature books of people and events for U.S. history. And to top it all off, I have close to 100 science reference books, which is just an estimate because I stopped counting at 70 because I was so mortified. So the other month, I decided to go through my homeschool closets of the curriculum and just declutter and see what I had. And I was looking for some things too. I decided to dedicate a whole Saturday to this because I knew that it was a big job. And as I started to go through my closets and as I started to pull out this and that, I realized some things. One, I don't use 80% of what I have in these closets. Two, Curriculum has definitely evolved over the 24 years that I've been homeschooling. Three, I love everything that I have in these closets. I truly love everything. And then the last is I don't know what to do with all the stuff. I really don't know what to do with it. So I just wanna share something that I think my homeschool hoarding habit has taught me. As I looked at all of the things that we created in homeschool, all of the many things that I was so excited to start with my kids and to learn about, always when you do something, go all in. You know, go all in. And that's what I did. I think all of the stuff around me in my homeschool room proves that. I sacrificed really everything else in my life to homeschool my kids. And I'm so glad I did. And so when you start your homeschooling, when you start anything in your life, be passionate for your kids, be on their side, because in reality, you're the only one that's gonna be their greatest cheerleader. And so be that, be passionate, be all in. And then along with that, which kind of seems like I'm contradicting what I'm saying, is give yourself mercy. As I looked at everything in my homeschool and as I was going through some of my kids' work, I wasn't the best at, at times because of what was going on in my life. I had babies. I was nursing babies. You know, we were sick. We moved. Um, there were a lot of pressures in raising a family. And so, you know, sometimes I wasn't at my best. And I want you to remember that because homeschooling is not this, you know, romantic thing that you do and it just everything works out. It's like life. And that's why I say homeschooling is a lifestyle, really. You know, chill a little bit. Don't um, take yourself so seriously. And I wish I could have told myself that years and years ago because I stressed a lot over things. I would wake up in panic modes in the middle of the night. But just remember, it all is going to work out as you do your best with whatever you're given. And give yourself mercy in those times when things are really hard. And, you know, there's more stresses that you have to deal with in just homeschool. It's okay to be bad at doing this homeschool thing. It's okay because anything that is worth doing is worth doing bad at first because you just need to get started. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope it does. We as moms are always so hard on ourselves. And then you take that to the next level of a homeschool mom. We really can be our worst enemy. So just give yourself a break. You know, champion anything that you do right and that goes right. Let's take a little time out here really quick. And I want to tell you how much I appreciate you watching my video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. That would be awesome too. And then the last thing, as I was looking at all of my stuff and beating myself up over having too much curriculum, it dawned on me that, you know, life is so short that we just don't have time to have regrets. So as I said in my first point, go for it. Be passionate. Try out your dreams. Reach for the stars. You know, do those things that you really feel you need to do and you want to do. And it will all turn out. So life is too short to have regrets. Jump in with both feet. Give yourself mercy. 
and enjoy the journey. That's what it's all about. So even though in my homeschool room, I still have a huge mess and you can't even walk on the floor in there without stepping on something, that's okay. I have come to accept my clutter, my homeschool hoarding habit as proof that I was in it and I was passionate about it and I did everything that I could to make it work and I think it worked. All right, thanks for watching. We will see you on another video. Doodles. And you know what? I'm okay with all of my homeschool crap. That's what my homeschool hoarding curriculum. That's what my hoarding. That's what my homeschool hoarding has taught me.